For conducting GIS projects, you often need to collect health data and variables such as demographic data, environmental data, or behavioral data to explain that health outcome or to predict that health outcome. Many data sets that are available online are not in GIS formats. They're not shapefile, they're not raster file. Most of the time they are just spreadsheets or Excel files or just a plain text. Today we're going to talk about a variety of sources of health data, environmental data, demographic data that are freely available for us. Then we will learn how we can use them in our projects. So uh, let's uh, start with health data. One of the most important websites for downloading health data that have geographic location is CDC Wonder. So let's Google CDC Wonder. And then you can select the first link which is wonder.cdc.gov. In this website you can have access to a variety of health data such as AIDS or HIV public use data, birth data, cancer statistics and also you can have access to mortality data or morbidity data. Let's see how we can download from each category. So for instance if you click on birth it has natality information from 1995 to 2017. Let's select the most recent data which is from 2016 to 2017 or expand it. Here it says that this data set has counts of live births occurring within the United States to US residents and counts can be obtained by a variety of demographic characteristics such as state and county of residence, mother's race, mother age and uh, health and medical items such as tobacco use and so forth. Uh, there is also data user restrictions that says that um, any efforts to determine the identity of any reported cases or to use the information for any purpose other than for health statistical reporting and analysis is against the law and there are some sanctions for violating rules. So if you click on I agree you signify that I will abide, the, abide by the terms of data use stated above. So in this page you can organize your layout table, what kind of information you want to see in your output table. So uh, for example you can group the result based on maternal residence so it can be in the state of residence or county of residence or maternal mother's race or mother's age group and also paternal characteristics, pregnancy history and so forth. So let's uh, scroll down and uh, for example we want to have the uh, birth information at the county level for the entire US so uh, let's select county of residence and also we're gonna have uh, some options for example average age of mother average uh, birth weight average pre-pregnancy BMI so it depends on your needs depends on uh, what you want in your output table you can select some factors so if you scroll down you can select maternal residence if you want to have the data only for a specific state you can select that and then click open it will be added to this part but we want to have the data for the entire US at the county level so let's accept this uh, settings and then scroll down so here you can uh, select some maternal characteristics you can select uh, maternal race or uh, pick between some age groups okay age of mother so you can select that mother's education uh, mother's nativity and so forth so and also for the paternal characteristics again race age group education and you can select pregnancy history and paternal care characteristics such as interval since last live birth and so forth so there are so many options that you can customize your output table based on that. Okay, so uh, we want to have we want to keep this table very simple. So let's uh, scroll down and then 
so we can see select maternal infections present so we can select some other options and so forth so let's uh, scroll down to the end of the page and then select send so uh, here is the result you can see that we have the data of the number of births for at the county level for the entire US if you scroll down you will see that it has more than 3000 records which are uh, 3100 and more uh, counties in the United States so we will have the data for between 2016 2017 we have number of birds for each county and also we have uh, these are the thing that we checked in the previous page average age of mother average birth weight average pre-pregnancy BMI so uh, we can easily export this table if you click on export so it creates a table natality table and if you click on show in folder and then uh, copy that in your H drive GIS uh, labs here you can create a folder with the name of mm, free data free underscore data and paste it here here you can open up the data you can see that uh, so we have information of the uh, number of births and for each county in the US but it's not in the tabular format so uh, we can open this file with the Excel file so let's uh, open your Excel and then load this text file in Excel if you open a blank workbook file open browse and then navigate to your edge drive where you saved your data GIS labs free data and here you should be able if you click on all files you can find the natality information so uh, here you can click on next and uh, based on tab we can separate the columns okay so click next and finish so here you can see that we have the data in the tabular format the first one the first field doesn't have any information so you can easily delete this column and uh, let's see what kind of characteristics we have and it is recommended to export the data excel file in a csv file csv is better for arcgis format so we can easily click on file save as and in the same folder with the comma delimited csv comma separated value and with the name of natality and then close this excel file so this one uh, can be imported into the gis okay let's turn back to cdc wonder website and i think you got the idea how we can download the data cancer data birth data aids public use data so they are the same so for example for mortality data if you click on detailed mortality so uh, this data has underlying cause of death from 1999 to 2017 for all counties in the united states the settings are similar to the other health outcomes such as birth uh, if you go to the next page here you can again organize your output table based on location based on county based on age group based on year but one of the most important thing is that if you scroll down so everything is very similar to the birth so one of the most important thing is that uh, this table select cause of death okay 
you can for example select cause of this because of certain infectious and parasitic diseases and then if you select this one and then click open and again so here you can see that uh, you can have more information for infectious and parasitic uh, diseases for example the cause of this is because of the TB or other things so you can have more information of the cause of this and the rest of the settings are very similar to the birth uh, settings so if you click on send you will have uh, a text file and then you have to clean the text file and then export it as a CSV file CDC Wonder is a excellent data source that you can use it for your project and your future work and I highly recommend you to explore CDC Wonder website the next important website that you can download public health information in Ohio is Ohio Department of Health just Google Ohio Department of Health so odh.ohio.gov click on this link so just remember you should always look at data or statistics in these websites so uh, if you select data and stats and if you scroll down you you will find Ohio Public Health Data Warehouse select this option so here you can see that we can have access to birth resident cancer incidence data from 1996 to 2016 we also have a very very important source of information in Ohio Ohio one source we will talk about that in a minute mortality data and also uh, some other population data for calculating re rates lead data and Ohio lead hazardous properties so uh, it's very similar to the previous one for example if you want to download cancer incidence data uh, click on cancer incidence data and here if you go to the report tab uh, you can you have to find the geographic data if you want to use it in GIS so this one is the ideal for us ties by county so if you click on this button you can uh, filter variables but let's click on export data so it's a CSV file show in folder let's open the CSV file so you can see that for each county in Ohio we have cancer site or type of cancer uh, we also have age adjusted rate we have cancer count for each county so for example if you click on data and filter you can uh, filter based on type of cancer for example brain cancer okay so, so you have uh, brain cancer data for each county and also you have age adjusted rate and cancer count for each county so you can easily uh, use this data into GIS so uh, if you want to have access to the cancer data in the Ohio at the county level this is a very important source of information I think this is for uh, from start to end of the study uh, study period if you close this one and uh, here for example you can filter variables you can have uh, the data for maybe only the latest data okay so you have to make sure based on which year uh, you are having your data maybe only for 2016 okay and then export data so this one is cancer OH 2016 and then you can copy this one and then put it in your H drive GIS labs and free data and then paste one of the interesting data in Ohio Health uh, data website is Ohio one source if you go back to ODH and then data warehouse 
and select Ohio One Source. So uh, for Ohio One Source, you can look for uh, healthcare facilities within the state of Ohio. Okay. For example, you can look for the location of the emergency medical service. You can look for find hospitals across the uh, state of Ohio, laboratories, mental health, and so many other information that are in the point format. So, uh, and you can easily download them if you go to the data view tab. So you can see that uh, you have maybe more than 29 thousand records of data so it's a very comprehensive data let's uh, export this as a let's export the whole data as a csv so it should be a very large data set so and then uh, click show in folder so it's about uh, 19 megabytes and uh, let's copy this data and paste it in edge gis data free data and then paste it here don't forget to change the name of the folder because this one has a space and parentheses so just ohio one source and dot csv if you open up this csv file so here you can see that uh, we have uh, based on business type you can filter this uh, field if you go to the data filter and for example you can filter this field and to find all of the hospital uh, children's across ohio and then uh, here we have the data you can have the data you can have address or the most important thing is you can have uh, latitude and longitude information so you can easily bring them into GIS map them and then make a shape file from this information so uh, if you if you change your selection your filter to something like uh, emergency something like animal control or clinic or chemical treatments and so forth so emergency medical service you can have emergency medical service across the uh, Ohio and you have also latitude and longitude for all of the locations so you can easily map them in GIS and then make a shape file of them and then for future uh, spatial analysis so you can easily select all of the emergency and then copy and paste it in another CSV file and then uh, bring them into our GIS environment. Now let's see how we can get the health behavior data such as alcohol drinking, exercising with uh, geographic information. Uh, one of the most important sources of behavioral data with geographic location is BRFSS. Uh, which stands for Behavioral Risk Factor Surveillance System. BRFSS is the world's largest and ongoing uh, telephone health survey system. It tracks health condition and risk behavior in the United States every year from uh, 1984. If you Google BRFSS, So the first link, cdc.gov slash brfss, select the first link. Just here remember that we always have to look for data, maybe prevalence data and data analysis tool. And here maybe uh, city and county data, smart city and county data. If you select this one. So uh, here you can have data for a variety of categories such as alcohol related disease impact, behavioral risk factor, chronic disease indicator, uh, nutrition, tobacco use and so forth. So uh, let's look at 500 cities. And uh, 
and uh, in this page if you scroll down maybe we will have uh, 500 cities census tracked level data and it is GIS friendly format and released in 2018 so uh, you can visualize the data or you can export the data so let's export the data in the CSV format and then open the data behavior but uh, let's look at the description what it says so it says that there are four measures high blood pressure taking high blood pressure medication so high cholesterol and so forth and also cholesterol screening so these are some behaviors that uh, from each record or for each city or maybe it's for an individual person or a couple of persons so uh, this is another source of uh, behavioral data that you can use them for your studies if you go back to the main page of brfss So BRFSS and then if you go to the prevalence data and data analysis you can find GIS maps data and here the data are I think in the, are in the shape file format so you can have also BRFSS GIS shape file data that you can easily load them into GIS and use them for your uh, projects uh, but uh, for BRFSS data sometimes uh, statistical software such as SPSS or SAS is required to load the data again BRFSS is one of the largest behavioral data set especially uh, when you're working around the world and you need behavioral risk factor uh, so it works exploring the next source of environmental information is EPA or Environmental Protection Agency. So if you Google EPA air quality data, air quality data, and then here you can click on download, you can go to this one or you can download daily data. In this page you can download criteria pollutants uh, for different pollutants such as CO, PB, nitrogen, dioxide, ozone, particulate, particulate matter 10, particulate matter 2.5 and uh, based on for example let's select CO and uh, based on the most recent data 2019 and for geographic location you can select a state such as Ohio or you can select a city or for example mm, Cleveland and here there are all of the monitoring sites of the pollutant uh, or criteria pollutant and then click get data so it creates a CSV file, you can download the CSV file and then open show in folder and then copy that in free data and paste it here. So uh, let's change the data to EPA, Cleveland and CO, those were uh, CO pollutant and then open up this table so here you can see that uh, you have the data for almost every day from uh, January 1st 2019 to the to current day to today and uh, also you have uh, CO concentration daily maximum 8 hour CO concentration per ppm and the good thing about this data is that it has uh, latitude and longitude information and you can see that longitude is negative because Ohio is in the western hemisphere 
so you can easily bring this data into into GIS and uh, make the maps of the CO concentration or you can use them as a uh, as a variable as an environmental pollutant variable in your analysis so let's save this data again as a CSV file EPA is already saved so you can just click save and yes the next important source of data is tiger line if you google tiger line and then uh, census.govsh geographies select this link and uh, you can have the data in the format of shapefile from 2007 to present uh, but for 2019 the data are not available but uh, the most recent data that are, are available are for 2018 if you scroll down and then select web interface uh, here you can here you can download a variety of shape file for example you can download block data block group data census track just a boundary county data state data let's uh, download the estate data this is a zip file you have to copy that and then paste it here and then you have to extract it if you want to change the name of the change the name of the state US state you can go to the R catalog and change the name so but this one has uh, state information and it's a shape file if you go back to the tiger line and then if you scroll down you can also have linear features such as coastline such as road rails and also landmark features such as places like schools park uh, parks factories and so forth so you can easily uh, for example for all lines click on submit and then select the state Ohio and select a county such as uh, Cuyahoga County and then download the data of all of the linear features in Cuyahoga County and after that you can show in folder copy that and paste it here and just remember that edges uh, have uh, linear information for Cuyahoga County okay so you have to when you open this when you extract it and then open it into ArcMap you have to consider this fact another important data that you can use for ecological studies or studies of the vector borne disease is uh, land cover data so if you google so let's close all of the tabs if you hear google uh, national land cover data or nlcd and uh, select multi-resolution land characteristics so you can have land cover data let's see what are land cover data and how we can download the data so as I said you have to always look at the data in the websites so here select data and then download and if you scroll down you can have uh, the latest version is national land cover data for 2016 so you can download it it's a very large data it's about 1.4 gigabytes and um, if you need that you can download it and then select it for a specific area but if you want to see what are land cover data you can click on this one and then overview and here maybe you can look at the legend of the land cover data or maybe I can type NLCD legend so this one is a legend for NLCD data. It's this one. 
So uh, NLCD land cover classification can be open water. So you can see that which areas of the US are open water and also uh, low intensity developed areas, barren lands, deciduous forest, and so many other things that you can use this uh, information for ecological studies, for the studies of the uh, tick-borne disease, mosquito-borne diseases. If you go back to the National Land Cover Database, uh, you can see that uh, the description of each one, what is open water, so areas of open water generally with less than 25% cover of vegetation or soil. And so you can see the definition of each uh, category or each classification in the National Land Cover Data uh, legend.